everyone, it's Evie Angeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at our Hollywood Racks RV Rider 2 bike platform rack here on our 2002 Tiffin Allegro Motorhome. This is going to be the best bike rack for those extra, extra, extra heavy electric bikes with an 80 pound weight capacity. So we'll talk about that, but there's also some things we're going to talk about like how to fit it properly on the Allegro Motorhome and how to make sure it's the right fit for you. So first off, I have 24 inch long handlebars. And because of that, I've been having some issues with using this with other bike racks because of how close it gets to the motorhome. So measure your handlebars and make sure it's the right fit. You can move them back and forth just to get a better fit though. But if you do have longer handlebars, you may have to mount it to the outside of the bike rack. Whether you have your extra heavy electric bikes of up to 80 pounds per bike, or you have your fat tire bikes, or you have your step through bikes, or you even have your longer wheelbases, this can carry it. Because it has the adjustable large wheel hoops, you can move it back and forth. Also, with its frame mount, that allows you to pick and choose where on your bike you can clamp this down. The downside to it, it's, it's gonna be a little tricky. There's a bit more process to it using this frame mount. Notice how this is a locking frame mount though, so you can secure the clamp. You can also loosen it, and then you just press in on the clamp in order to move this up and down as you find the best fit for your bike. So we're gonna start by taking off the wheel straps. You press this lever and that this engages the strap, allowing you to take it up and out, and I swing it all the way down so it doesn't get up, caught up in the spokes. So that's one strap, and here's the second strap. And once you've unlocked your clamps, you just start loosening it by turning this knob until the clamp is large enough to come off of the bike rack or off the bike. Now swing this out and from here you're ready to take off your bike. Now if you have those extra heavy electric bikes, this can be tricky. It will be tr tricky to reach in here and grab the bike. So what you can also do is you can swing this mask down, which starts by loosening this knob take the pin out the side, and then you're just gonna swing that mast down, avoiding your pedals or your handlebars right there. And now you have all this space to lift your bike off. So we're gonna keep this mast in the down position, so don't forget to pop that pin right back in and tighten it down with that knob. Here's some quick measurements. First is length added to the back of our motorhome from the bumper to the end of the bike rack, 28 inches. So that's how much length it adds. With your bikes on, it might add a little bit more. Another is how high are you gonna have to be lifting your bikes up to get onto this rack? And that's 28 inches. So remember, if you're maxing this out at 80 pounds per bike, that's 80 pounds of bike that you're lifting up onto that rack at 20 inches high. Now we're gonna fold this bike rack up because what if you're parked at the campground, you don't need your bike rack just yet. What you start with is this knob. You just fully remove the knob and then once it's clear, you'll be able to pop out that bolt. Then you can fold this up against your motorhome and while it does look like it comes close, you actually have plenty of clearance. There's a stopper there, just lining it up so you can pop that bolt back in and tighten it down easily. I do like to see how much clearance there is between our bumper and our bike rack. I don't have to worry about making any contact at all. We actually have about three inches of clearance there. And the length it now adds to the back of the motorhome is 12 and a half inches. Big difference compared to when it was folded down. You can see here it's two inch shank fits into your two inch hitch receiver. Make sure it's a frame mounted hitch and not a bumper adapter. We have a three quarter inch bolt that goes through. That's your anti rattle bolt. We have extra three quarter inch sockets if you need an extra one. We also have this lock at the end of the bolt and that's key to like to those locks on your frame mounts. So my personal thoughts about the Hollywood Racks RV Rider is if you have those extra large bikes, those extra heavy bikes, the fat tires, the long wheelbases, 
and you still want to carry them with your RV, this is probably going to be your best bet at doing so. The downside is it's tricky to get all those wheel hoops lined up, to get those frame mounts lined up. It takes a little bit more time compared to some other racks. Plus, you're going to have to lift those 80 pound bikes onto the rack. If you want something that helps you out a bit more, maybe check out the Yakima on ramp. It is motorhome approved. The downside to that, it doesn't have near as much weight capacity as this does. So you have your different pros, you have your different cons, but hopefully this video showed you how this bike rack works on this motorhome. And that way you can see if your bikes will work with this bike rack on your motorhome. And this right here was a look at the Hollywood Racks RV Rider 2 bike platform rack on our 2002 Tiffin Allegro motorhome. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.